Hey everyone, Rick Albert here. Today we're going to talk about some most people aren't thinking about, which is those that bought at the height of the market, 2007, maybe 2008, literally the day before the market crash, are actually in better shape now than if you were to buy today, which sounds super weird considering you heard about all these people who got screwed over. So yes, there are people who got you know foreclosed on, there's all those issues, but let's talk about the people who just sat there right? Because it's all about timing. So those who just sat on their houses and just kept it, why are they better off than those who buy today? Well, first of all, they're over a third of the way done with their mortgage, right? If you have a 30 year mortgage, they're over 10 years done, right? That's awesome. That means they only have 20 years left, right? That's just how math works. The second reason, when the market crashed and values dropped, some people were actually able to petition their home value to the county assessor. What does that mean? It means they pay less in property taxes. So even though they bought at 500,000, now it's worth 250 because the market crashed, they go to the county and say, look, my value dropped down to 250. I need you to lower my property taxes. And in some cases they did it. I saw people do it. So again, already a third of the way done. They're Payments all around, all, all in, is less because the market crashed. And because they're a third of the way done, they could actually refinance their mortgage into a 15 year and shave off time. So in most cases, when you refinance a house into 15 years, you just do a 15 year mortgage instead of a 30 year, your payments go way up, right? Because it makes sense, bigger principal in a short amount of time. But for those back then, interest rates were much higher. They were at about 6%. Now, if you do a 15 year fixed, they're in the range of 3%. So you do the math and their payments are gonna be about the same. So their lifestyle doesn't have to change, except they just shaved off two to three years off their mortgage. So don't believe me, run the numbers. I wanna hear your thoughts on it, comment below. See if you know anyone that might be thinking about selling because they have held on to it for that long and the market's picked up in parts of LA, it's actually picked up past those values. So with all that equity, they might want to cash out and go buy something else, downsize, upsize, move out of state, whatever. Uh, love to hear your thoughts. Talk to you guys next week. Hey everyone, hopefully you liked the video. If so, please don't forget to give it a like. Maybe show some love in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We do have other videos posted. Please go ahead and watch them, enjoy them. They'll be posted somewhere here. Feel free to click um, or just view the channel in general. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next week.